Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new Gentech PC product showcase. Today what we're going to be taking a look at is the new MSI GE60. This is a new design that's both thinner and lighter than the GT series. It offers a moderate amount of power for a moderate cost, so let's take a closer look. Let's start things off by taking a look at the screen. You're going to notice that this is a non-glossy matte display. And down below here we're looking at the specs badge. You'll see that we are running the brand new third generation Core i7 Ivy Bridge CPU and from NVIDIA we have the GeForce GT650 mobile with 2GB of onboard video RAM. Take note that later on in June we're going to start shipping new units that include the GeForce GTX660 mobile as an alternative option. MSI for the finish of the laptop has decided to go with a glossy finish so make sure you take notice of that as well. Taking an up close look at the touchpad, we have all of our status LEDs here in the front. These are labeled, so we have our hard drive status, Bluetooth status, Wi-Fi status, battery status, caps lock, number lock, and sleep. It uses a single rocker switch for your left and right clicks. And then for the average size touchpad, we actually have a textured finish here, so a little bit grippy, let you know where you're moving. And over to the far right, we have all of our other logo and badge stickers. Take note that also, in addition to that, we have a SteelSeries keyboard here. Unlike the GT series, while this is a very similar keyboard, this one is not backlit like the others. This is a normal chiclet style keyboard. It does have a full number pad layout. It's a short throw key press, but it has a tactile response on the keys. And in the top right, behind the grills, we have our audio speakers. Also some important buttons at the top. We have access to turning on and off the laptop. Turbo mode, which is automatic on this laptop actually. Here's a manual fan override. This is actually going to force the fans to 100% speed. So you can increase your cooling if you desire to do so. Above the LCD screen, we have our integrated high definition webcam and the integrated microphone. Also, here's a good chance to take a look at the viewing angles of the screen. As you can see, the screen actually has really great view angles. Here's a chance to take a look at the design and styling of the LCD lid and also give you a 360 degree look of the laptop with the lid closed just to give you a good idea of what everything looks like. Okay, now let's take a close look at all of our interfaces on the outside of the laptop. Here on the right hand side we have our optical drive. It does have its own dedicated eject button if you need to use it. A standard USB 2.0 port, the DB15 VGA output for your monitors, and then there's the RJ45 Ethernet connection for your wired internet. On the back of the laptop, there's actually nothing here. You can just see the battery partially. And over to the left side, we have the rest of the interfaces. Your Kennington lock port, and this is your DC input for connecting the power supply. The main exhaust for the entire system is here on that side as well. One more standard USB 2.0 port, your HDMI 1.4, two USB 3.0 super speed ports, and then lastly, you have the 3.5 millimeter connections for your microphone input and headphone output. Okay, now it's time to test external temperatures of the laptop. Right now in the background, we have 3D Mark Vantage running. And what we're looking for here is any hot spots on the laptop that would feel unnatural or uncomfortable to you while you're using the laptop as far as heat on the hands. So far all the temperatures are looking normal. Nothing here has even reached the temperature of the human hand. A 
as far as how well the system is taking care of getting rid of the heat from the component inside, looking at almost 100 degrees coming out of here max right now. And that's your CPU, GPU, and everything combined since it's one exhaust. And here is a reference point for you. You can compare all those temperatures we just took to the temperature of a hand. Here's all the hardware information on the NVIDIA GeForce GT650 mobile. This is provided by GPU-Z. And here's our information on the CPU, the Intel Core i7 Ivy Bridge 3610 Quad Mobile. Now using this hardware, the Vantage score is P9989. And just as importantly, we logged the temperatures during the benchmark. And using MSI Afterburner, the highest temperature we reached on the GPU was 74 degrees. Now here's a look at a piece of software provided to you by MSI. It's called the S-Bar. It's a heads-up overlay that goes on top of your screen when you mouse over it. And it gives you access to a lot of the features on the laptop. This software is also partially responsible for allowing you to use the software eject button for your optical drive. Now we're looking at the bottom of the laptop. Taking a look at your vents here, you have lots of vents for intake of air. This helps the system stay cool. Also, it has one very large bay door that allows easy access to the inside components. Now that we've removed that bottom door, you can see that you have easy access to a lot of the system components here. Up front, you have access to two of your RAM slots. And immediately right of that, here's access to your hard drive. The main exhaust fan is here, which is connected to the CPU and the GPU. And up above that, you'll see that we have a SSD labeling here. This is for the MSATA. You can actually put an MSATA device in here if you'd like. And then lastly over here, this is a combo card that is both responsible for your Bluetooth and your wireless internet. And that everybody is going to conclude the product showcase for the MSI GE60. We hope that you enjoyed the video and that you found it informational. Remember that we always have the full product details as well as current pricing and availability on our site, gentechpc.com. And if you have any other questions or need assistance, then feel free to contact us by phone or email. So once again, everybody, this was GenTech PC, and we'll see you next time.